In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Switch emulator Sadachi on Android. The phone I will be using is a Samsung Galaxy S24 FE paired with the GameSir G8 Galileo controller. If you like this controller, a Amazon link will be in the description below. So let's go ahead and head on over to the official Sadachi GitHub page. I will have the link to this page in the pinned comment. Once you are here, go ahead and scroll down and you will see the latest version of this emulator is 1.0.13. You scroll down a little more and right here you will find your download, which is the .apk file. Go ahead and tap it. It's going to say that the file may be harmful, but there is nothing to worry about. Download anyway. Go ahead and open, tap on the file. Chrome is gonna tell you that you're not allowed to install unknown apps. Go ahead and tap on settings and allow permission. And then install. And then you may get another pop-up saying that your auto blocker is enabled, preventing you from installing unknown apps. So what you wanna do is locate your settings app Scroll down to security and privacy. Scroll down a bit and you will see auto blocker. Go ahead and turn this off. And you can't see my screen right now because you will have to enter your pin to enable this. Now, if we go back into our downloads and tap on that file again, go ahead and hit install. And this time the app will install. Open. Get started. Go ahead and grant permission for notifications. Allow. Now it's gonna ask us to install our prod keys. And I am sorry guys, I cannot tell you here where to get prod keys. If you need some help with this, you can check out my Patreon page where I have a video that can help. The link to my Patreon is in the description below. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit select keys. Now on my phone, I have created a folder called keys where I have my prod keys. To locate that folder, we're gonna come up here, click on these three lines, scroll down till you see the name of your phone, tap on that, and you should see all of the folders you have created on your phone. Here's my keys folder. Now when you find your keys file, in order to get these two files that you're seeing on screen, you will have to extract the main file. Now there are apps out there that can extract files for you for free, such as the one you're seeing on screen right now, but I prefer to do all of my extracting on my PC and then transferring my files over to my phone. Tap on prod.keys. Keys successfully installed. Now we're gonna add our games to the emulator. And once again, I cannot tell you where to get Switch games. You will have to check out my Patreon for help with this as well. Tap on add games. We're gonna locate all of our folders on your phone. And I have also created a folder on my phone called Switch ROMs, where I keep all of my Switch games. And just like your keys, your games will have to be extracted. Now, like I said earlier, you can use an app to do this, or you can do as I prefer and use 7-Zip on a PC to extract all of your files because all of your Switch ROMs must be extracted to be playable in this emulator. If you don't know how to extract files, I will leave a link to one of my guides in the description below. Use this folder. Allow the emulator to access this folder. Allow. Okay, continue. Now we are in the emulator and as you see, all of my games are displayed. Now over here to the left, tap on this icon to go into the settings and then we're going to advanced settings. System. For the limit speed, we're gonna turn this off. And the reason I did that is so that the emulator takes full advantage of all of the power my phone has. Now, if you have a pretty powerful phone, then you can go ahead and turn on docked mode. This will allow you to use higher resolution in your games. Now let's go back and go down to graphics. Tap on resolution. Now we are gonna pay attention to the resolution on the right side since we are using docked mode. The resolution on the left side is handheld mode. 
Now, if you feel like you have a pretty powerful phone, then you can upscale the resolution. But for my phone, I find that 1080p works well. And for more demanding titles, I will have to downscale to 810p. Make sure VSync mode is on. And we're gonna leave everything else here at default settings. Let's go back, back again. Now, if you're gonna be using on-screen touch controls, then you don't need to set up a controller. But if you are using a controller as I am, then you wanna come over to controls, player one, tap on auto map a controller, and you should see the controller that is connected to your phone. Select that controller, and if we scroll down, you will see that all of your buttons are mapped to that controller. Let's go back. And now we can go ahead and load up a game. Now you will notice when you first load up a game, even though you are using a controller, you will still have on-screen touch controls. To get rid of those, you wanna swipe from the right side of your screen. Hit the back button, come down to overlay options, and select show overlay and that will take off your buttons. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already.